there. Welcome to Christ for Life. This is day 14 of 40 days of prayer here at Trinity Southern Baptist Church. Hope you all are doing well. We're so excited that you're tuning in today. Today we're going to be looking at John 1, 12 and 13, two of my favorite verses in the Bible when it comes to sharing the gospel. So uh, let me just say this, that uh, we're going to be talking about the fact that if you're a child of God, you have the right to be called a child of God. And we're going to talk about what that means. So John 1, 12 through 13, But to all who did receive him, he gave them the right to be children of God, to those who believe in his name, who are born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And as I mentioned, these are two of my favorite verses in the Bible to share the gospel because when it says there in verse 12 that uh, to all who did accept him to them he gave the right to be called children of god it's a beautiful encouragement to those who give their life to the lord as uh, jesus as lord and savior and uh, here's what i wrote down a couple of thoughts when you give your life to jesus christ as lord and savior you become a child of god from that moment onward you are rightfully called a child of god Take a look at verse 12 again. It says he gave them the right to be children of God. And the Greek word for right in that verse means having the power to do something. Isn't that amazing? To all those who know him as Lord and Savior, to all those who did accept him, to them he gave the right. In other words, they have the power to be called children of God. They have the right to be children of God. Because of the power of the blood of Jesus to save, you can boldly proclaim in truth and in power that you are a child of God. I love it the way one commentator put it. He said this, They have power, authority, for no man taketh this power to himself, but he who is authorized by the gospel charter. To them gave he a right. To them gave he this preeminence. It is the unspeakable privilege of all good Christians that they are the children of God. That's a great place to say amen. So friend, whatever is on your heart today, whatever uh, you're going through, maybe it's a prayer request. Maybe it's a command to follow. Maybe it's an action to take. Whatever is on your heart, do so knowing that you have the right to be a child of God by the blood of Christ shed on the cross. Oh yes, if you've given your life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, to all those who did accept him, to them he gave the right to be called children of God. You can, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, you can boldly proclaim in truth and with power that you are a child of God. I hope that encourages you today, whatever you're going through. God bless y'all. We'll see you soon.